Ravens Flock, Ravens Nation, man, what's good, y'all? Uh, before I get started, right, um, shouts out to Boogie Down, EJ. Shouts out to uh, Abby Hassan, my bros. Uh, shouts out to uh, No Life. I said No Life. What the fuck? Uh, no Pad, No Pencil Sports. Uh, my boy Fresh Life. That's what I was thinking. No, no pad, no pencil sports and fresh life. Uh, shouts out to them. Uh, uh, shouts out to 22. Uh, is it all 22 films? All 22 films? That's the homie. Um, so, man, um, yeah, just shouts out to all y'all, all my subscribers, any new subscribers. Shouts out to y'all. Um, forgive me in advance because. I, I'm, I'm literally running off very little sleep right now. I'm not even joking, yo. Uh, I was out late Sunday. They called me on call. And then I was out Monday late. They called me on call. And I had a job to do late yesterday. So, I'm, I'm like pushing through right now. But, never mind, man. I, I got enough energy to speak on it. But I'm just saying... If I, my words are slurred a little bit or a little reaction delayed, that's why right now. But, um, shouts out to Tanja Bowman, if I didn't already say it. Uh, I'm going to respond to your comment first, and then I'm going to get into whatever else. Um, you say you don't understand how John and company, the front office and gamble into the season with unproven talent. Um, well, John, he has to double down. Shouts out to uh, uh, No Pad, No Pencil Sports, bro, because he was saying it in his, uh, in his stream. He was saying it in his stream. Not the stream, uh, yeah, he had a live stream with Fresh Life, and I hopped on towards the end. But uh, he was saying it there. John must be into gambling. I think uh, 22 Films said it too. He must be into gambling. He has to be. But you know what also comes into play with that? He has to double down on this because you know what he said a couple uh, less than a few years ago? Maybe last year. I don't remember. We're not going to beg receivers. At the part thing was last year. We're not going to beg anybody to come play here. You know what that statement means? I'm not saying nobody doesn't, but I'm just saying, just talking in conversation like that. To me, that means. the road they doing construction on the road i'm not i'm not i'm not messing up my problems but uh yeah you know what that means to me you personally believe you have this grand thought process that works out every time. Now, it's funny because I think John is a Taurus. I'm a Taurus. So I get it. Trust me, I get it. But my thing is, you ain't been right on none of this shit. I could see if you was right. Then I'd be like, yeah, let John be. He, he pretty, he, he been on a roll. He been hitting the last couple. Of, but you ain't. <laughs> but you ain't though, John. But, like I said, being as though he said that statement that we're not going to beg nobody to come play wide receiver for us, they're not going to go out their way to make them happy. The, at the first sign of, hey, we're going to need you to do this and do that, and they say, well, John already made up in his mind, I don't want him. You feel what I'm saying? So, with that being said, right, it, it, was, it was a given that he was just going to run into the season with the guys that we have. It was a given. I've been new. I was upset about it. 
I was really upset about it. I made a video. I don't know which one. It was a while ago. I know it was sometime last season, though. Because I was hollering about it and said, John, you don't got to beg nobody. You can draft him. But he didn't even do that. You know, and, and it's hard for me to swallow my pride right now and say what I'm about to say. But I don't really like bigging up other rival teams like that. I really don't. Because I don't want to feel like they're that good. You know what I'm saying? I, it, I don't think no team is better than the Ravens. Unless I unless it's really evident and given the players that will be on the team, I, I would express so. But given the status, the state of our team right now, I can't fully say that and, and, and be honest or not be honest. I can't fully say that and really believe that. You know what I'm saying? But my regardless... My point is, we went ahead and had ample opportunities to bolster up our wide receiver uh, position, or at least make it competitive uh, this year. I don't know what made them go for Kyle Hamilton, I, and I will still be the first. I don't. I don't care. It don't bother me. I don't, I'm not a fan of Notre Dame players, but. For whatever reason, they took Kyle. I would have never drafted Kyle. You know what I'm saying? All right. They might not have felt felt like George Pickens was the number one uh, first-round draft pick. Regardless of the situation, we took a punter when he was still there. You know what? So even at that point, told me, John, don't give a fuck. He's doubling down on what he has in mind. He's doubling down on him and Roman and their philosophy. Because I think, low-key, John even knows himself he's on a time limit. All these offensive coordinators he's hired throughout the years, and one that could be considered a Hall of Fame coach, I don't, I don't know, but I'm just saying one more notable than all of them, which is Gary Kubiak, didn't even stay long. He was like, no, nah, I'm not with this shit. He don't let me do my thing. You always got something to say about it. I don't want to be here with John. I'm out of here. Gary Kubiak was gone. After one season. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's clear. And, and they say the older you get, you're not going to change who you are. He's not going to change who he is for nobody, man. He's not, man. It's just, it's just the reality of the situation. And that's fine. Because we don't got to live with him. That's what some, some older people say. I don't got to live with you. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So, we ain't got to live with John. But we damn sure don't have to have him coaching us. But, regardless... Yes, it's a big gamble, Tanja. Yes, it's a big gamble. But it, it there's no negative to this situation, in my opinion. Just as my opinion. Because if there is a failure in the season, and granted, everybody's healthy, what can excuse can they give on why the fuck we failed? Other than it's John. So ultimately, I'm saying... I feel like the failure equals John fired or however they want to word it when it's time for him to go parted ways. He wants to move up in the company. Whatever they whatever they want to say. If we have success, it's a plus for Lamar. It's a plus on his resume. We get further where we need to be. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But I just see positive coming out of this either way. Now, personally, would I have gambled? No. I would have ended up uh, drafting George Pickens. That's just me. I would have drafted George Pickens probably in the first round. Easy. 
easy choice. Everybody else would have been whoever. But we didn't. Now he's on the Steelers about to waste his years and be a highlight reel. John truly believes everything he does touches everything he touches turns to gold. That's that's what his his mentality seems to be. And, and any other offensive coordinator that refuses to change and adapt to situations, John was getting rid of. John got rid of. So the fact that he's holding on to Roman like this. To me, says this is his last hope. Roman is his last hope. I, I really believe that. I really believe that, man. And if Rome, and if Greg, I said Greg, if John is such a analytic person, he always want to talk about the numbers. You know what numbers I looked at, John? The snap count numbers. Just randomly. I looked at the snap count numbers, John. I'm going to use Humphrey words. I don't want to talk about yesterday. I don't want to talk about last year. Excuse me. I don't want to talk about last year. I'm going to talk about the last game we just played. The snap count. Okay. So, it's evident and obvious. The linemen are out there. Uh, probably about 100% of the time. Offensive line. It's obvious Lamar is out there. About 100% of the time. 100%. Not about. Uh, it's obvious. Ooh. It's not obvious. Excuse me. It's not obvious. JK isn't out there next in line for about at least 90 or 80% of the time. Granted, he just got back from an injury. I know Fresh Life and No Panel Pistol Sports, I know y'all were saying. Uh, um, he just coming back and this, this, and that. But I'm going off what J.K. saying. J.K. said he good. He said he good to go. He's ready to go full speed. I'm letting him. I'm trusting what, what people say. Once you show me otherwise, then I go off of that. But I'm trusting what, what people say. You know, at least on the team, team-wise, of course. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying. I ain't saying, oh, get out there, and he like, oh, I can't go. If he's saying he can go, then I'm letting him go, and he's going to be out there just as much as my QB is out there. That's just me, right? But let me get back to the snap count. So next in line after Lamar, who's at 100% being on the field, is Mark Andrews. Now, Tanja, I know you, was, this ain't towards you. I'm just saying this because I'm talking about Andrews. And I know you mentioned something about Andrew, Andrews. Now, next in line, after Lamar's Andrews at like 70%, 78%, 80 I don't know. But it, it, he's next in line at, after Lamar. And Lamar had a, had a 100% percentage of snaps on the field, of course. And I'm just saying that to put emphasis on If Andrews is out there that much Why isn't he getting the ball that much? Why isn't he being targeted? I don't understand how he's out on the field And we not seeing touch, uh, big numbers from him Or he just out there to block? How many motherfucking positions... Do we need 
it's like I forget who said it. I forget who said it, man. This fucking team is good at it. They must love math, man. They must love math, man. Every day we gotta ask mathematical questions and answer that uh, analytics and go off of and all this shit, man. But how how many times does Andrews need to be out there until we start seeing touchdowns? If he's out there almost. 80% of the fucking time Why is he not getting the ball How many different uh, Tight ends Wide receivers Full backs Running backs Do we fucking need the block How many After Andrews, um, it's getting a little foggy. Um, maybe Bateman. I think it was Bateman. And I ain't saying that like he had 80% of the a snap count. He didn't. Bateman had like under 50, 50 maybe, 60 maybe. And then it kept getting lower and lower and lower. And I'm like, no wonder we ain't doing shit. Because look who the fuck is out there on the field. Look how much time they're out on the field. What plays are we doing to where as though the, the, the main number one wide receiver isn't getting 80% of the fucking snaps? Granted, they said he was hurt. But somebody else needs to step in and do their fucking job once he steps out. Why is Prochet suiting up and not on the field? Why did we just get Demarcus Robinson and he only accounted for 20% of the fucking snaps? What are we doing? And then I look at the opposite numbers for motherfucking Bills and all their numbers is, it makes sense. It made sense. Their tight end wasn't at 80% of the fucking snaps. Their wide receivers were. Both of them. And not at 80%. They were split up. But same numbers damn there. And they were higher up than the tight end. Or is the tight end higher up than the fucking number one wide receiver? And Andrews didn't even have a great game. Bro... John, you're going to do what you're going to do at the end of the day. You're going to do what you want to do at the end of the day. But I'm telling you right now, leave JK in the fucking game. That's it. That's it. Leave him in the fucking game. Justice Hill is not it. He's been on a roll lately. I'm not denying his talent. But you, we cannot rely on him when it's crunch time to, to fucking close a game out the fucking snap count do you look at those analytics John Roman is trash. I'm sorry. I'm not giving him credit for nothing this year. I'm not. When I look back on the games and after seeing that snap count shit, I'm not giving Roman credit for a fucking thing, yo. I'm not. I just can't. It won't allow me. My spirit won't allow me. I can't. You know why? Because how you come out hot and, and turn cold how you go away from what's working? Only a special motherfucker can do that. To stop doing what's working. And then decline.
I watched the press of the day. Today is Wednesday. I watched the press of John ain't stay long. Like always, they give him little alley oop questions, little bullshit questions. So he was out of there. Lamar spoke a little bit. I don't got much to say about that. That's that's our QB. It ain't really much to say. Um, but I found it interesting with Marlon. Marlon tries to play this tough. What's the word? What is the word I'm looking for? Militant guy, like. But he 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 talks truthful. Even when he's trying to say less. At least in my opinion. And when he said that they. I thought first I thought it was interesting that they when they have breakfast, they are able to see ESPN, the sports center and all that stuff. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Not saying that they don't they can't watch it or nothing. I'm just saying I always hear a lot of players saying they don't. They don't they don't pay attention to that, but they do, clearly. So the other thing was he doesn't like it when they're in situations and lose games how we just lost because not only does it look bad on the players, it looks bad on the coaches. But he tried to clean it up. Because the statement, it was loud. He tried to clear it up by saying, you know, because that makes, because we have to execute and I don't like it when I can't execute. And da, da, da. I'm like, nah. Nah, Marlo. You said what you said, dog. You said it right, too, though. It looks bad on the players, but not only the players, the coaches. So what the fuck are we doing? Don Wink Martindale looking pretty good. The Giants defense looking pretty damn good. Meanwhile, we over here struggling, trying to close out games with a fucking uh, a college defensive coordinator who had one year of success. ridiculous man and instead of being on his ass he he protecting the hell out of everybody man but you know what though John you can't protect everybody you can't protect everybody John it don't go like that it's real out here John Ain't none of them grown ass men your kids. All you did was give them, literally give them a job opportunity. You gave Roman a job opportunity. You gave McDonald a job opportunity. They're not doing their jobs. You want to talk about being prepared. Well, who the fuck does the preparing? You or Roman? You or McDonald? And if the the head boss acts like, well, I, that's what I pay y'all for, so figure it out. I could only imagine what you do. Well, I hired y'all. Y'all need to figure this out. But you the head coach. When Roman show you a play or tell you through the headset what play he about to run and it don't fit the scenario, you got a fucking mouth to open up and say, we're not running that. What are you calling? That don't work. But you, you so up they ass. It's such a, such a, a, a. I don't even know the word, like. 
you just so Joe about this shit, like, you don't hold people accountable, only players, you was real quick to call Kyle Hamilton out, bro, you just drafted this dude, and you were so quick to call him out, but you ain't said nothing about McDonald. Still. We got a fully healthy staff. I mean, a fully healthy uh, squad right now. We got Marcus Peters and Marlon Humphrey, bro. With a, a $70 million safety. McDonald has no fucking excuse. And Rex Ryan was right. He never had no damn uh, three three pro bowlers on one motherfucking squad. He might have. I don't know. But that's what he said. You know? And, and McDonald do. And still don't know what the fuck to do. Still don't know how to close games. I kept telling y'all that game reminded me of the Green Bay game last year. And that's what they talking about. And, and in the Ravens community. The ones that know. We gave it up just like that. But they, he, he, he was so quick to get rid of Wink. Wink was the first one to go. Why you ain't get rid of Roman bitch ass? What is he doing that's so, so, uh, great that you feel like you have to hold on to him? We are about to miss the fucking playoffs. Look, did you look at that analytic, John? It's out there on Google right now. It is, I don't know what the what the website was, whatever the case may be. They said the trajectory. Tra they said the trajectory of our season right now. Lamar is going to statistically have one of his best seasons, and on the on the opposite side of that. We're going to miss the playoffs. So, what is Roman doing that you think is helping us? Because it's not. It's not. We do enough just to stay in the fucking game. We do just enough to put points on the board. We do just enough. And then purposely or just absent-mindedly or incompetently fall short. But yet, you still riding for your guys, still saying you trust these guys. You don't, do you hear Tomlin saying this shit? <sighs> John, I want you to go look at Mike Singletary snap count versus JK snap count. Like, y'all are reporters. Y'all have a job to do y'all research and ask questions. Y'all don't even do research. Y'all just ask questions that are obvious. Well, John, what were you thinking? Well, John, what happened out there in the fourth quarter? Well, John, 
You guys got the Bengals next week, do you think? You'll be ready. Well, John. Come on, man. Come on, yo. It can't, it can't. <laughs> It can't be like this. It can't, yo. I feel like Ethan Hawk on motherfucking training day, yo. We are the fucking rabbit. We are the rabbit. We don't have the gun. We don't have the gun right now, y'all. John got the gun. John is Denzel Washington right now. We are Ethan Hawke. And our job is to beat him at his own game. But he's going to do it on his own because he's an incompetent coach. But he needs to be exposed for all that he does wrong and all his flaws and all his sabotaging ways. And, and, and what else can I say? Just lack of, of transparency and authenticity. This motherfucker still think not being straight up about an injury report is benefiting us for our opponent. They don't give a fuck. None of the opponents we face this year give a fuck who's starting or who's who's hurt, who ain't. All they would care about is if Lamar hurt. That's it. That's it. Nobody's worried about us. Nobody's fearing us. But you think it's helping us. John, you need to go just retire, dog. Please, man. Please, yo. Please, man. We don't got to keep going through this, man. We don't. We, we don't. We, we, we've done nothing wrong to you, John. It's like you were sent here to just curse us. Literally. What is your purpose? You come up with all this stuff. I knew, I knew, I should have known. I should have known some bullshit was coming when this motherfucker said in that speech two weeks ago. He quoted Malcolm X. I'm like, oh, shit. This mo got this motherfucker. Quote Malcolm X. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. John. Now you now you real, you looking desperate. You are. You are. You know, like, you doing anything and everything. That's how I felt about the Jimmy Smith shit. 22... He 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 dabbled on it a little bit, but I, I I'm a motherfucking stomp on that bitch right now. That's what the reason was for for that fucking Jimmy Smith uh, retirement. That shit could have waited to the end of the season. Nobody give a fuck. I'm sorry, anybody. I don't know if anybody said it, but I'll say it. I don't give a fuck about no damn Jimmy Smith retirement. I don't. I ain't got no hatred towards you. I fuck with Jimmy Smith, but I don't care about him retiring. We need to figure out why the fuck the team ain't winning. Consistently. Why we not closing games? Why we having the same problem? We need to figure the fuck out. You can't move along in nothing in life until you figure out what the fucking problem is. If you don't address certain shit, you're not going to move past certain shit. Address the fucking issue, John. You. Your fucking coaches. Why do we have this lousy ass QB coach? Why is it that Kurt Warner can sit there and point out how Lamar feet ain't never the fuck set? Why is Kurt Warner able to point out Lamar needs to be more consistent with his footwork. And we have a QB coach on a fucking team.
I should have known something was up because Lamar wanted his own fucking coach in the offseason. I'm telling y'all, man, you can't have John and Lamar at the same time. You can't. It's not working. It's not. It's not. Lamar is winning games off of heroics, but you can only do that for but so long until strategy and, and plan comes into play. This is like the Lakers if they didn't have Phil Jackson. This is like if Kobe never met Phil Jackson. That's what this is. That's what we're witnessing. Kobe without Phil Jackson. Because, John, you ain't no fucking... You ain't him. Far from it, bro. I think that would be Belichick. I don't know how we can get him, but... Whatever, man. <sighs> I don't know, Flop. I don't know, man. I'm just trying, still trying to understand it all. I know we got Bengals coming up, but I ain't too, uh, you know, hyped up over that one right now. I'm giving how the last game just went because it's a given. I'm going to go with my shit. That was my shit sound like that. But yeah, it's a given uh, to expect us to come out flat in the second half now. Um, I heard a little bit about Rod Woodson, or uh, from Rod Woodson, talking about um, the Ravens game. And he know he said something that I didn't pay attention to. He said when the players came out in the first quarter, they were all jogging and stuff. Or the first half, you know. He said, but afterwards, in the second half, they wasn't doing none of the jogging. Like, so it's just something to keep an eye on, man. Something to keep an eye on, man. Ravens spot, Ravens Nation, man. <sighs> I just wanted to go on a little rant, let that out, that little, that little bit out today, man. I've been seeing a couple of days ago, but like I said, I've been, I've been ripping and running lately. Fucking tired of shit, man. Still, still got to grind. It is what it is. But uh, yeah, man. If I got something else, I I want to speak. I want to speak on. I'm gonna definitely drop another vid. It's only Wednesday, so I'm pretty sure I'll drop something after the game Thursday. Or before, who knows? But I'll holler at y'all, man. Y'all be safe. <laughs> Motherfuckers stealing my shit still. Won't won't invite me to get on the show. Won't say won't 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 drop a comment. Won't do none of that, but will openly steal my my ending. And add it to theirs. Come on, bro. But Ravens flock, Ravens nation, flock nation. I'ma holler at y'all, man. Y'all protect y'all energy, man. Uh, I'm out.